Please go get Gilbert Godfrey. Tomorrow night, we'll be out at LBC in Palm Harbor. <coughs> Not a little cough. We'll be at LBC in Palm Harbor for the Christmas party we're trying to uh, throw. We're going to do a live read of the Christmas story, and we're going to be tending bar. Budweiser's donating a dollar for every Bud Light sold to charity. Starts early. Yeah. Uh, I would say uh, things will kick off for sure by 8 o'clock, but I'll probably be there around 7.30. Uh, they'll be broadcasting live. It'll be a good time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this weekend, Gilbert Godfrey will be in town. Look at Gilbert. How you doing, pal? Good to see you. Gilbert, when you walk in here, you're like, I don't remember these anybody. Yeah. You probably, yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm not insulted by that. I just, did, but when you sit down, like John Witherspoon walked in here one time and he was like, ah, and he sat down and he goes, oh, yeah, 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 like when he sees me. I, I always say this because I have nothing new to say. I always say it's like I'm like one of those characters in the movies with amnesia, <laughs> and all of a sudden there's like the look at a pencil, and then there's and everything like, comes back. There's that weird, what do they call it? Uh, that that weird uh, deja vu. No. That no. That music that they used to play in science fictions and the Beach Boys played it in. Uh, the good, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was that? I don't know. The Ramon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking something about. Something yeah. like that. Because it's the sound wave, and they do their hand to make the sound. It's a woo. Yeah. 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 I know what you're talking about. And and so I always feel like I'm one of those characters. I'll see something, and then it's that that music comes uh, on. Have you gotten it yet? Since you walked in? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I when I came in, yes, I saw the lobby that I kind of recognized. I've been here before, perhaps. Yeah, yeah. I remembered there were those uh, freezers and shelves with candy. Right, right. And uh, and a coffee machine on the side. You have been on this show in the studio at least five times, <laughs> and on the phone a couple of times. So I I get it though. Now, question, this question. So my name is Mike Calta, but for years when I first started in radio, in the 90s, everybody had goofy names. I was Cowhead. Would that have been more of a trigger? Would you have been like, oh, Cowhead? Oh. No. See, see, then I'd get you mixed up. With me with, Cow? Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. See. see, so then it would be totally. It yeah, would, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he would be like screwing around with a crazy person. So as long as we <laughs> had the candy shelves, that's all we needed yeah. for Gilbert yeah. to bring yeah, it back. Yeah, the candy. I have people... Who are living in my building? Right. You know, building. I and and it's like they'll come up to me on the street and say, "Hi, how are you?" And yeah. I'll go, Hi. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you not uh, socialize with those people? Uh not usually. Yeah. No. Who do you uh, socialize I, with? I wish I I knew. Like uh, I don't socialize all. I. I always like when I used to watch TV. Uh -huh. I I would see like you know, Jack Benny would have like Friend. Jimmy Stewart yeah, yeah. ring the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> so you when and you I get, always thought it would be like that. When you get up every day, and your kids go to school or whatever you do, and you're alone, who do you call? Who's your uh, go-to? Okay, well first I I turn on the TV and I just keep. Clicking. Coming through. Well, clicking. Yeah, yeah, like they yeah. shall have a clicker anymore. <laughs> yeah. And and then I'll there'll be one or two people I'll call nobody famous. Like I but so who are those people? Like they people you grew up with, people who you work with? Like I wanna know who's in your Yeah. yeah. Not that anybody mm, no one I grew up with. So where do you mean? So who do you attach like you don't have anybody from that you grew up with? There's nobody famous that you're hanging out with. So who got into the Gilbert circle. I don't know. Yeah. There's some people unlucky enough. <laughs> like, it's it's funny. It's like, um, I'll hear these stories, you know, how they'll say, like, Martin and Lewis, they split up. They didn't speak for 20 years. Right. And I'm thinking now, it's like, I've got people, I actually enjoyed their company, and I haven't spoken to them for <laughs> over 30 years. I, 20 years is nothing. <laughs> you know, it's like, what's the big deal? 20 years. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what about other comedians? Do you, are your friends any other comedians? It's, if they're in town and they call me, then we're friends. So, So the one time I had you on the phone, 
I think it was you and Paul Provenza. Yeah. Is that possible? That must have been around the time of the aristocrats. That was the yeah. aristocrats. Were you guys, are you, is he one of your good friends or just working on the project? Just working yeah. on the project. Hilarious. If I saw him, we'd say hello, yeah. laugh, but. That's uh, it. When you, when, are you, uh, like, is it difficult for you to walk around in Manhattan because you are very recognizable, and that doesn't it, seem like something that would be fun for you? It, it's one of these things, like, if I'm walking down the street and I see a group of people standing together, I'll go, oh, God, what? now they're all going to see me. They're all going to want my picture. They're all going uh, to uh, joke with me. And then if I walk by and they don't, then I go, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, my why didn't they, yeah, 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 yeah. I once was walking down the street. I This drives me nuts is when... Uh, there's a mob of paparazzi, and they see me, and they nod their head at me. They give you a pass. That's right. so funny. Because that, that makes it even worse. At least pretend. Right, you right, right. Because right. Who... I, I one time was walking down the street, and they jumped out from behind bushes and everything. And I thought, oh, this is all part of uh, me being a star. Right. And then the, one said to the other, goes, oh, no, that, that, uh, that's, not, that's not Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> <laughs> I, last time I was in New York, Kanye West was hosting Saturday Night Live or musical guests or whatever, and uh, I went to a restaurant, and when I pulled up at the restaurant, there were literally, literally a thousand people standing outside all staring at a building, and I got there early before I went to eat, and I was like, what could be going on over here? So finally, I walked over, and I'm staring like the rest of the idiots, and I go, what is everybody waiting for? And they're like... Kanye's eating dinner inside, and I go, so you just stand out here and wait? Yeah. I'm like, that's insane. And I, I mean, if you saw him, it'd be like, oh, there's Kanye, but no, wait for them to come out of a restaurant. And and it's like, sometimes one of them will take my picture out of politeness. Right. <laughs> you know, right. They, they know it's not worth anything, but uh, all right, I'll yeah. take this picture. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll always say to them, uh, who are you really here for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I think that for you, they would always suspect you of doing weird stuff. Yeah. Like, I would follow you to see where you go. Yeah. I'm dying to know what your what your full schedule day is like. Yeah, and yeah. then it's like, you know, buying a, a container of orange juice right. that's on sale. Uh, but, like, like, what's his name? There was one guy... Um, It'll hit me in a second. Who got arrested uh, not too long ago, a couple of years ago, for was in a Hollywood, um, like a porn theater. It was Fred Massimo. Willard. Fred Willard. Oh, yeah. And I uh, and nobody cared. Everybody's like, oh, old guy yeah. out there rubbing one out in the theater. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if that was you one day. Like, I see, that seems to be like someplace they would follow you to. It seems like I would. Right. But, um, no. <laughs> but I never felt comfortable in public. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. That I'd want to do that either, but uh, yeah. but I wouldn't. But I wouldn't wake up, and if I read the headline, and, and you know what else, I I never got truly. I've seen a lot of porn over the years, but I never got truly turned on by porn. My turn ons were always like. R-rated nudity. Almost? Like yeah. almost the yeah, sex? Yeah, like nudity. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. like, to me, I uh, like, uh, a, a friend of mine nicknamed, uh, called it Gilbert nudity. And that's the kind of thing, like, if a girl is naked doing her taxes. Right. That, that's that, that's that what does it for you? It's okay. just very matter of fact. And, uh, but, you know, when they try to make it all like, you know, dissolve in and out. Oh, yeah, no, no. I don't want like theatrical porn. Yeah. I, I actually prefer my porn to be as uh, as as raw as possible, like a Shot on the phone. camera, yeah. phone, yeah. That, yeah. that stuff's better. Yeah, yeah, but even that stuff's out there, Gilbert. I got to show you where to go. You can go look for all that. Yeah, because I, I kind of, I always liked it if the girl who's naked up there has some sort of reputation right. as acting. Right, right, right. I got you. Even if it was just an extra in a sitcom. Yeah, it's, it, as long as she had a resume, that's all you cared yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. Uh, how long, uh, how, well, how old are the 
kids now. Oh, Christ. Now watch me screw this up. Uh, uh, my daughter's 12 and my son's 10. All right. And uh, so I have a 13-year-old. And I can hear my wife going, no. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. uh, you love it still? Being a father? It depends on the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, I, so far, so good. I mean, I have a, I have a 13-year-old. That's the, but it, my 13 year old's a boy. A lot easier. I don't need to yeah. go through all that. I have, oh, a, I have a yeah. six year old girl, and I'm not looking forward to her being a teenager. Yeah, I mean, girls when they're babies yeah. already start developing that. Yeah, uh, I don't need any of that. Dramatics. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, it's, I just do they do the, when they go to school. Do their friends recognize that they their father is famous? Uh, not. I mean, sometimes a little bit. Right. More the parents. Because they didn't get into the... They're too young for the Disney movies, right? Yeah. Yeah. I should show them all the aristocrats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I should put it over. <laughs> uh, now, what happened with Aladdin? They said you were mad that they didn't consult you for the new Aladdin. No, I... I uh, they... I'm, to me, it's like... They could have just as easily not used me in the first one. Right, right, So right. I feel like, you know, there's no way of knowing. Yeah. What, 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 what did they, do they tell and you? And they didn't use anybody. Right, that's the thing. Oh, yeah. Well, they made it, they made the headlines of the Gilbert mad, mad. Yeah, about. it makes it more, in, I mean, when it first came out, people were, like, tweeting me. Yeah. And, and so I would retweet it, because it was fun. And then they said, oh, Gilbert's really enraged. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, I think I asked you, and I don't think that was, I don't think it was. But Disney's not a good payday, right? Uh, no, it's nothing special. It's like, uh, oh, I just remembered one tweet I got uh -huh. when the new Aladdin came out, and it said, uh, "If I see the new Aladdin and Gilbert is not the parrot, I can't be held responsible <laughs> for my <laughs> actions in the theater." <laughs> I thought I like that. One. Yeah, oh. someone threatening a shooting. Oh, right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> um, I'd be quite flattered. Are you glad now that you weren't associated with it? It's kind of a dumb movie, right? It didn't do anything. Like it's not even on yeah. Disney Plus or anything. Yeah. Like they've basically shut it down. Uh, that's gotta. That's gotta be good that you weren't a part of a flop. Yeah, but I've been in worse. Yeah. What yeah. is the worst thing? I I I have been in a couple of movies that. Why I don't remember the titles now, and I don't. I didn't know the. T I barely knew the titles when, when I was them? doing the movie. What? Is, how many movies have you been in? Oh, I can't, you can't remember. You have to go to uh, IMDb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like because there's those movies that as I'm doing it, I say nobody. Is gonna see I mean, I might as well be doing porn in here. Right. Because no one will uh, see it. Uh, oh, I, let's try it and see. I yeah. bet a lot more people see it. It's like, uh, okay, my my favorite one to mention is Funky Monkey. What is Funky <laughs> Monkey? Do you have okay. that up there? Funky, Funky Monkey. Well, I've never seen it. Right. But it was a movie with uh, a an orangutan or a chimp. Yeah. I think it was a chimp. Okay. And I guess he's also a spy. Of course. Yeah. Makes and sense. Uh, so that was one. Okay. One of those movies where you go, it's never, no, nothing's body. ever happening. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wait. Is that that on the screen? There it is. Funky Monkey. Holy Christ. Is this I've the never first time this. you're seeing Funky Monkey? Uh, <laughs> and, and I heard it was the second version done. Oh, you, you mean you were in they, Funky Monkey the sequel? No, no. Oh. They've actually did one previous where it was like a drunken, f angry French midget right. in a monkey suit. Oh, was so this was monkey. the American version. Uh, starring Matthew Modine along uh, with yes. uh, Gilbert Godfrey. And I saw one review of the movie <laughs> that it was a one-sentence thing. It said, Ma for Funky Monkey, it said, Matthew Modine once starred in a Stanley Kramer picture. <laughs> no, it's Stanley Kubrick uh, picture. And then you go, yeah, that shows how it is. Let me give you the character and you see if you can tell me what movie it was. Okay. Um, Iago. Oh, a lot, of course, a lot. Oh, is, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. It just was... The Kingdom Hearts video game. That's why I saw that. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the character's name from Funky Monkey? 
Oh, some kind of mad scientist. Doctor? Doctor. Oh, Doctor I... Spleen. Oh, okay. Doctor <laughs> Spleen. Um, you can tell I've never seen Aladdin. I didn't realize I was there. In, uh, in what did you play Denny the Distractor? Ah, that I did an, an episode of uh, Sesame Street. That is correct. Yes. Uh, how about Mr. G? Mr. G. 2009, Mr. G. Oh, I don't know. Uh, that was, it appears to be a movie called Hysterical Psycho. Oh, yeah. Another one of those movies that I watch and go, as I'm doing it, I'm going, no one, no one will, will ever see, it. see this. <laughs> what do you get paid for a movie like that? I, like a movie that you know nobody's going to ever see. Yeah, it it varies. You'll get like, uh, sometimes you'll get a lousy paycheck, but you know, like, that's like 90% of their budget. Right, right. They every got dollar of it. Uh, and let's see. What, and what, what uh, piece did you play Napoleon? Napoleon? Mm -hmm. It was voice work. Napoleon. Uh, oh! That was an episode of Saturday Night Live where they did like a takeoff on a Disney. Oh, Disney, the uh, um, 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 Disney's version of Titanic. Yes, Tidy, yeah. it was called. You're yes. right. <laughs> How about Alan Levy? Alan, oh, that one sounds familiar. 1999. Oh, that sounds familiar. Alan Levy. Could that have been Goosed? No, that, that is correct. That yeah. is Goose. Wow. That ah. is Goose. Oh, you're doing a lot better than I thought. That was with, what's her name, with the squeaky voice. Uh, let me, let me pull She has up. a sister who's also an actress. Yeah, Tilly. Yeah, yeah. Jennifer yeah, Tilly. Tilly. Jennifer Tilly. Okay, hold on. I had another good one, and I lost it. Let me pull this back up again. Nobody saw that. No, yeah. no, no, no. Uh, pretty much if you're in a movie with Jennifer Tilly, nobody's going to see it. <laughs> uh, How, Howard Featherstone? Howard Cutterstone? Featherstone. Heather Featherstone. Howard Featherstone. <laughs> Howard Featherstone? 2013. Wow. Howard Featherstone. No, that one I... Uh, Howard Featherstone, you did a voiceover for Beecher Baby Bouncer? Oh, I uh, vaguely. Yeah. I I've don't... heard the title. Uh, but... I have one here. How about Ron McDonald? Ah, that I've done three times. And that was in the Sharknado. Yes. I did oh, three nice. Sharknados. Uh, and I think uh, one of them, you're actually Rand McDonald. Yeah. What, you were you, his brother? <laughs> they go, no, they go back in time. Oh, They yeah, of break the time zone, uh, and I'm the father uh, of Ron. <laughs> 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 and they shot that scene in black and white. Yeah. Uh, one more. Tony Sandoval. Yeah, uh, that's uh, that one. Bad medicine. That is correct. With uh, Steve Gutenberg oh. and Alan Arkin, oh. Julie Haggerty. Well, it was '85. If you're in a movie with Alan Arkin and uh, Steve Gutenberg, that's got to be pretty good. Yeah, no one saw it. No. No. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, shortly after that was uh, Sidney Bernstein from Beverly Hills Cop, yes. which I think was the, probably the breakout yeah. the breakout role. Now, when you were getting that, you were like, this is a movie people will see. Yeah, I knew, like, if it's an Eddie Murphy movie, right. somebody, at least it'll get released. Yes. Yeah, it'll you know make what it drives the me nuts now is that movie theaters are, like, over with. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. But here's a... I, I am, I am a... I, grew, I worked in a movie theater when I was a kid. I enjoy seeing a movie in a theater. Yeah. But I, I, I really do not enjoy other people. And people don't shut yes. up. And uh, so now I have a 70-something inch screen in my house. It's almost better for me to watch it at home. Yeah. I can, do, I can stop it when I have to pee. I don't miss anything. I can, You know what I mean? I have all the things. I'm annoyed people talking and I'm, uh, and I'm or somebody really tall sits down in front of me. Right. Uh, or, but I, it was that excitement of like, if someone was screamed, everybody screamed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And if someone, if they're cheering, the whole crowd's cheering. Yeah. There was I something about that. I find myself going to the movies now in the middle of the day when I get off of work so that I don't have to be in there with anybody else. But then I also run into the problem and I'm fall asleep in the movie theater now because I'm... Old and, and tired. Then they go, oh, it's a homeless guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah get out of here. If I was, that's where I would go every day if I was homeless. Yeah. I would just scrounge up enough to get in a matinee and then stay.
stay there all day. I I see them there sometimes, and I figure that too. You'd go there, you'd scrounge up enough to get into the theater. Yeah. You'd be there in air conditioning or heat, where whatever, and in a comfortable chair, and then you'd walk around, and there'd be somebody who'd like popcorn and soda. Right. Sure, yeah. Pl- always plenty of so stuff. So you'd be eat. eating all day. Do you think about that? You're a guy who's financially uh, set. Do you think about, like, I'm never going to jail, but I already figure out what my jail cell is going to look like if I ever have to go. And I always think about how I would survive if I was homeless, even though I'll never be homeless. Yeah, I I also think yeah. that. Yeah. What is that? Is that a mental thing with us? <laughs> I, I think you always think it could happen. It could happen. Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, the great Gilbert Godfrey is here with us. Gilbert is going to be at Side Splitters this week. Weekend tonight at 8.30, Friday at 8 and 10.15, and Saturday at 8 and 10.30. Uh, Gilbert is a very funny comedian. If you had not had the opportunity to see him, uh, 960-1197 to make your reservations to do that. Do not bring your kids. Do not expect Aladdin uh, jokes or anything like that. Uh, do you? Oh, and uh, my website, gilbertgodfrey.com. And I'm on Cameo. Oh, you are? Do you yeah. like doing that? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You How just many are you getting? Video a lot? shout outs. Yeah. Are you getting day. a lot of. It depends. Sometimes I'll get a whole bunch in one day. I bought a bunch of them already. Yeah. So I bought um, my wife for her birthday because we watched a show called 90 Day Fiance, which is about people who marry people from other countries to try and get the uh, the green card to come over here. Oh, oh yeah. It's a great disaster show. Right. Just watching people fall I, apart. I've seen some of that. Oh, it's I wonderful. I thought I should have kept watching. It's, it's fat white yeah. girls marrying guys from Nigeria, falling for it. Yeah, all. and all that, like, she's a princess. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. What was that? Wasn't there that, like, football player? Or something, who got rooked into that a uh, couple of when that uh, Teo Manti Teo, maybe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know she was a, a princess in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, those these are the absolute best. And this one season, so I got a couple of those. Then uh, um, what else did I got? Uh, oh, I got I could talk about. It. No, I can't talk about. It. It's a Santa Claus. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> kids might be listening. Um, there was something else, but I recently I you know Michael Rappaport. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was on the show and we got into a big fight, and I told him that he used to be all he used to be a good actor and he's just become horrible lately. He's just becoming. <laughs> n- sometimes, sometimes in this job I feel like I'm not like I don't I don't invite guests on the show to fight with them. Yeah. But I feel like if there's something. That's glaring. I could say it to them, you yeah. know what I mean? And I didn't hang up on him. I gave him an opportunity. Uh, and then I um, I just bought myself a cameo of Michael Rappaport wishing me good deeds back while I know he's mad at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. He w- he wins at the end, I guess. He got my 40 bucks or whatever it was. But could you make good, Could you make great money on that? It depends on the day. I mean, you're not yeah. going to retire on it. Yeah, but, but a couple yeah. extra bucks. What I, the hell? I, I think I, I think it's uh, it's nice for people to be able to have that kind of connection to a celebrity. And if you have somebody that you really enjoy, to be able to get a little message from them, I think that people get a kick out of that. Yeah, and and any way any way I could make a buck right. with not doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you know how to do all that? Record and all that? Or somebody has to do it I, for you. I, 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 amazingly, amazingly, I do that myself because it's not that difficult. Right, right, Which, right. and it's it goes without saying, it's not that difficult if I'm able to do it alone. Because if I want to send out a tweet with a photo with the tweet, yeah. I have to ask my wife. I don't know how to do that. Still? Yeah. You just click yeah. one button. Yeah, but luckily, somehow I learned how to do Cameo. You need you need somebody. You need, like, a... You need a younger friend. Yeah. Yeah. Like, not too young, but somebody who could show you how to do all the hip well, stuff. Well, it, it, it's kind of like I've already, a couple of years ago, I asked my daughter to show me how to do something. She was like two. Right. She was, <laughs> and she did it in in three seconds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's how it, that's I, how it is. I heard, you know, now they've got these robotic uh, remote control surgery yes. that machines do it. And I heard they tested people and found out that little kids were much better than top surgeons. From using the... Yeah, because they were born into it. Yeah, 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 that could be very true. That's yeah. amazing. So they already know. It's nothing to them. No. With a surgeon, they have to think about what 
what thing to move and what to press. It's sad because I used to be in the 80s, that kid where adults would bring things to me to do. Hey, set my watch or do this. Oh, and forget and it. now I can't, I just can't keep up. I used to, my grandparents lived in New Jersey and I used to want to get them a computer so that we could send them pictures of the grandchildren and stuff. I go, I'll make it so you don't have to do anything but hit the space bar and pictures will just show up on the screen. We don't want it in the house. We don't want it. In, and they were like so anti-technology. Yes. And I feel like I'm getting to that age now where somebody's like, we can get this. And I go, I'm fine without it. I, I, I definitely yeah. have reached that where I'm, I'm like asking the kids, like, what does the on button mean? <laughs> yeah, it's like. Uh, uh, Gilbert Godfrey is one of the best. Go see him. Are you still doing your podcast? Uh, yeah, Gilbert Godfrey's amazing, colossal podcast. And how? who have you had on recently? Uh, oh, Marsha Mason. Um, in the let's see, who did we? Oh, uh, Neil Sadaka was on. Really? Now, when you invite these people on, and they and they don't know you, they think they're going to get Goofy Gilbert, or they oh, because you have a real love for the for the old yeah. movies and all that stuff, and they probably don't know that until they sit down with you. A, a couple of them. Well, like we were trying to, I was trying to get uh, John Davidson on the uh, show for the longer, and he was he was very honest about that. He was scared that I would tear him apart. Why? And and it's like he came on. We talked about his career. What is John Davidson famous for? So John Davidson to me was on. What well, real people? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I've seen him singing a bunch, but then I don't know anything else about yeah, him. Real people singing. Uh, what was amazing to me is he said that he came out that he was friends with Penn Jillette from Penn and Really? Tom. And I thought, there's a weird friendship. Right. So I said to him, so let me take a guess. You don't believe in God. Uh -huh. Because That's like, what Penn's deal is. Penn is the atheist version of a Jesus freak. Right, yeah. right. If he sneezes and you go, God bless you, oh, there's no God. <laughs> and 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 uh, Davidson then started talking, saying, like, everything that's quoted of Jesus is, like, 400 years uh -huh. after he died and everything. So that was the, that was yeah. the bond that brought yeah, them together. And his Father, his father was a preacher. Dad. Oh, really? Yep, yeah, and he, so he totally turned against that. That's so interesting. I, I'll tell you, uh, I, that's why I find your podcast interesting. There's things that I would never find out on my own. Like, I would never care enough to look at something, but then if I listen and I find these things out, it's very... I watch, you know what does a good podcast? Is Kevin Nealon? Yeah, you The that? Hiking yeah. with Kevin Nealon, yeah. I mean, uh, he did one with uh, Donny Osmond. And I just thought, and I thought it was fantastic. And these are people that I think I know everything about. Mm -hmm. And then I and then I watch. And Kevin Nealon does a really good job. But it's it's something like that that uh, that I would I, I I know enough about famous people, but I want to know about people who are kind of famous, like John yeah. Davidson. I think that makes sense. Uh, all right, Gilbert, thank you so much for getting up early and coming in here. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too torturous for you. It was torture. Yeah, yeah. I know. Right. <laughs> do you have anything else to do? Oh, uh, I uh, think I got one of those TV. Th those. That's ah, a torture. Those are. It's like they. The hosts always look identical. Yes. And they always look terrified when you open your mouth. Because they, it's they're like, like you can say whatever you want here. That's not going to get me fired. Yeah. But their rules are so uh, yeah. different. So they are definitely petrified by anything you say. Yeah. If you say gee whiz, that's, yeah. A, yeah. that's an obscene expression you used. Uh, but you're you're probably good. You're, you've done enough of those to be Yeah, safe. but they still, they, you see them shaking. Like. What's the worst thing that they always want to talk about that you don't want to talk about? I, everything. Yo, oh, yeah. that's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> now I feel like we should watch it when you're on this show. Yeah. Uh, I Yeah, good luck with that. That's me miserable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gilbert Gottfried's going to be at Side Splitters. Go see him. He's great. Very funny comedian. Thank you for getting up early and coming here. I appreciate it. Maybe next time you'll remember when you walk in the bar. <laughs> Don't remember the candy. Uh, take a quick break. It's the Mike Caltus Show. You're, you're, you're listening to the Mike Caltus Show on 102.5 The Bone. Happy holidays. Santa Claus has the right idea. Visit people just once a year. This sucks. Happy holidays from 102.5 The Bone.